everybody so i just wanted to do a video sharing all of the beautiful cards that i've been sent for christmas and my recent birthday every year i like to share the card it's a nice way for me to be able to thank everybody because some of the cards there's not a return address or the full name so the, hopefully this way you will see me showing your card and hear me thanking you um but also it's a nice way to get some more inspiration on you know different cards and some of the styles you'll recognize i've got tutorials for them um i'll try and share those tutorials or what i do is i'll probably put a list of all the tutorials below this video so you can go and watch them so first of all i've got this one here so this is from deborah yeah and merry christmas and i love this it looks like it's been cut using your cutting machines possibly Really sweet little one. This is Monty, my dog. <laughs> I love his little Christmas outfit there. And then the acetate. And this is like a suspended or floating ring that she's added around there. I think that's a really nice effect. I enjoyed having that one displayed. It was really sweet. And then I've got this one here, which is from Amy. This is my shutter blind die set. This is the 6x6 six six set. I love the like ice effect that she's used there and some accent glaze along the bottom and then when you pull the tab just for you i love that one it's really sweet thank you amy i then got this one here which i thought was wonderful my mum saw this one as well i thought what a clever idea and this is from tina thank you so much tina and you just open each of these ones and you've got a little honeycomb christmas bauble and i think it's so clever and she's made these from scratch so she's cut lots of different size circles and then just stuck them in, you know, certain places to create this effect. And I just love that little like garland. I think it looks really, really sweet. And then the Christmas wishes heat embossed there. And that's a top folding on a five by seven. Oh. There we go. You can see there. But I just like the way that she's had the little open out instruction there and the hook and loop. So it's easy for me to you know store away carefully it's not going to get damaged what a lovely idea then i've got this lovely tp card dear santa and this is from mary and you can see all the decoration there on the side i need to um, make one of these again oh, i've done the wrong side it's that way um with the hook and loop i need to revisit maybe do some different sizes or something because they are I, I remembered the ones that i shared and i loved making them i think it's really sweet what a cute little image there and i love the fact that you can fold these flat you know so it makes them easy to post and you can make them you know as small or as large as you want they're a pretty straightforward card shape to make i've got a cute little one here this is from my sister's mother-in-law she's also a card maker and she's done this cute one here ho 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 it's christmas lovely little stamped image there a little bit of glaze on his nose and glitter so thank you for that one mandy it's so sweet really cute this one here so much work has gone into this it's incredible this is from tracy ann tracy thank you so much so she's personalized this one monty and sam you've got the ski in dashand and it says dashand through the snow festive greetings but i saw that and then i was like oh what's that in the back and it lights up hopefully you can see there this looked so pretty when i had it displayed just lighting that up look at that can you see if i come closer hopefully it's picking up because it's quite a bright day at the moment and she's used one of my showstopper die sets to create that look. But I also show you how to create similar cards without the dies as well. So like I said, I'll link as many of the tutorials that I can below. But isn't that wonderful? You know, imagine this personalised with anybody's name, but a big birthday in the middle there. Or just that lovely focal image. I think it's so sweet. Really, really nice. I love the gold. So that was a joy to open. Thank you. I've got this sweet one here. This is from Shirley. And I love the cute little dog there by the fire and this is a shaped card so it's a top fold you've got all that detail there that she's cut and it's got all the embossed detail that comes through as well it's a really elegant style and there's lots of dimension as well with all the foam pads and everything on that one that's really really sweet this is a really fun one this has been made by linda she's used some of the papers from her christmas collection and she's used the pull tab from the festive kit that was the exclusive gift with Papercraft Essentials last year. So you pull the tab and Father Christmas pops up. I think it's brilliant. I thought it was so clever. Santa Claus is coming to town. She's used the accent glaze on the windows there. And then just different parts. This is from that festive kit. Like I said, the papers are from, from one of my paper pads and that's on a uh, top fold, six by six. I think it's wonderful. Thank you for that. And it just shows, you know, 
using the template she's just shifted it across to the side so that then it would work with you know the image or the top or whatever you're putting onto the the front of the card this one here is very sweet this is from my best friend's little boy ralph um this is these are christmas decorations i think she said and then obviously the tree and then inside um to sam and monty merry christmas love ralph and winnie winnie's his new baby sister and i think this is me and that was monty <laughs> i cherish things like that i thought that was adorable so thank you ralph if you're watching this I've got this beautiful card here merry christmas i'll just slide off the top there beautiful papers and then when you open this one up it's the i can't remember what i called this was it the star pop star car or something something like that it's the one i made with my nan and it's just beautiful this one here has been made by steve thank you so much steve it's gorgeous really sweet style and these ones just stand so nicely and you can just display the belly band there with it i thought that was really really sweet love the image there that you've used and those papers and the blue as well looks really nice and that all folds down into a six by six um, card size there then i've got this cute one which has a little stand isn't that sweet <laughs> eat drink and be merry you know the cute little penguin and the gnome there and all that glitter this is from alexander yeah thank you so much i thought that was so sweet and you can see once you get that in place how that stands up there i've then got this one here which is using my flip cards this is the six by six one this has been made by kimberly thank you so much kimberly and this one opens from the right and then inside you've got Wehe, hey, it's Christmas time. It's that crazy time of year again. And that's using the images from Papercraft Society box, along with some others here as well. The little gnomes are very cute. Tis the season to be jolly and enjoy the magic of Christmas. Such a fun style, that one. And again, that all displays like so. Another one using my showstopper cards is this gorgeous one here. This was made by Gemma. Thank you so much. You sent me some lovely gifts as well. But isn't that beautiful? She's used the grid embossing folder, this beautiful die here, which says Merry Christmas, and then these Ponsettia flowers. And then they're my papers from last Christmas. You can see how that opens up. Good job I've got a big side table. I was able to display all of these cards. Isn't that lovely? This one here, thinking of you this festive season. Really nice, very elegant style again. Lovely, like grunge style embossing folder. And then you've got the little raised frames there with the foam pads. This one is from Jeanette. Thank you, Jeanette. It's beautiful. Love the colours that you've used and the gold there. Really, really sweet. This one. Loved this stamp set. I used it on a partially die cut card that I made. It's the Daisy May collection. I just love that slimline card that you've used it with. And the little snowflakes there. This one is from Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's beautiful. And the colouring's lovely. Then I got this one here, which is from Carol. Have yourself a merry little Christmas with the gift tag on the front there. And this paper here, I recognise it. I'm trying to remember where it's from now. But really sweet style there. I love the ribbon on the top. I've then got this sparkly number. <laughs> so this is the, I can't remember what I called this card, but I've got it on the channel. But I love these flowers here. I thought they were metal. They look like hardware. But they're just uh, silver paper there with the embellishments. This one is from Angela. Thank you so much, Angela. It's a beautiful card. And that one stands like so. So you can see all of the detail there. I then got this huge easel card. This is from Mary. And we've got the Christmas tree with Monty there. And it says, let it snow on the tag. And then a little note underneath. You can see all the decoration. But I love the, um, the little lights there. And then I've just carefully taken it apart on the side just so I can keep it flat. But she, yeah, this was hand delivered with again some lovely gifts. So thank you so much. Now, this one I wanted to add, and if my mum's watching this, which she probably will be, is going to laugh. But this was the card that I got from my mum and dad this year. Now, if you've been following me for quite a few years, you'll remember when I made this card on my channel and gave it to my mum and dad. <laughs> she was roaring with laughter when I opened this. And um, I said to her, Where's the stand? And she went, Oh, Oh, you just have to rest it against something. And I went, did you forget? She was like, no, no, I just thought I'd recycle. So this, she stuck, <laughs> she stuck a bit of paper over my original message and um, gave me this. So I've had it propped up. It's beautiful. I mean, I made it. 
<laughs> so yeah, if you'd like to see the Bookatrix style, I called this one. It's been very, very popular. It's a gorgeous, um, you know, card idea. Then yeah, I will again link the tutorial below. But that's my card really back to myself. But thanks, Mum. <laughs> um, then I got this gorgeous one from Simone. So this one has the belly band, which slides off. And then you have these flaps here and it says snow is falling. Love the pinks. I think this is the only pink card that I received, actually. It's gorgeous. Love this. I think it's have you stamped that. I think you have in greys. And then these look like the dies from Sasha Reed's Papercraft Society box. So I think that's what she's used there. Really sweet. And then that all folds up. It's a top fold card. She's put a lovely message inside. So you can see you can have that open and then displayed with the belly band. Or you can put the belly band over the front half, which I think is how I had it displayed. Because when I started to get more cards, yeah, so I had it like that. So I could still keep it open, but I had the belly band there as well. Really, really pretty. Then I got this lovely one. This is from Rachel. She's made this gorgeous wreath. It hangs up, lovely little message on the back. Isn't that pretty? So she's die cut all of these individual leaves there. And then the little poncettias, you've got the little pine cones and then the pretty bow there. And that's a wooden sentiment in the middle and then the ribbon to hang it. And I did, I had that hanging on the front of the side table where these were all displayed. It looks really sweet. Thank you, Rachel. I thought that was a lovely little decoration and card idea. I liked that a lot. I've then got this beautiful, very glittery card here. This is from Kimmy. Christmas wishes. I just love that. The bird cage with the, the bird there. And this is lovely, this kind of like frame that the sentiment's in. So you've got the leaves attached to it there. And then it's sheet music embossing folder in the background there. And the ribbon. It's really tactile, lots of lots of dimension and the shine and stuff. It's really pretty. It caught the light a lot, that one. And then I've got this lovely one here, which is the Landscape Tower die set. This is from Benita. Thank you so much, Benita. And she's used the Santa stamps there and she's even put on his list Monty and Sam I'm, I'm glad I made it onto the list <laughs> and the papers there from my Christmas papers and that all stands up like so it's really really sweet those are the Christmas makes so now I'm going to move on to birthday cards first up is this gorgeous one here this oh it's just so um, it's amazing this is from Tracy Ann and I love how you've done the butterflies dangling They've been moving around because it's up by the window, this one. And um, every time I walk past, you know, they kind of move. You've got the gloves there. I love the butterflies. She's used the flowers there and embossed them all. It's just so much to look at. I think the papers are Daisy May. I'm sure they are because I've got those. I recognise it. And they look so good with the pink. And then some of you would have already seen this one, but my mum made me this card, which is a quad easel. And I've already done a tutorial now for this one. So again, I'll be able to link that. And that's a six by six card. But they all go flat. So that's how it's in the envelope. And then she's got the message inside. Like so. So you can have it open this way if you want, but it's quite heavy. But the idea is that it's meant to be displayed like so. And that's how I've had it. But isn't that lovely? Really liked this one. And then I've got this very pretty one here. Wishing you a lovely day. This one is from... Zara and I just love the the pinks in this which are my favorite colors and that's a top fold very sweet card then I've got this one here which is from Kimberly and got the big happy birthday there and this is the peekaboo and you open it and you get your other these are from my twist and pop these dies I recognize them and this one can be displayed like so really love I love the holographic card which I'm sure you knew, that's why you used it. <laughs> and then this lovely Dutch Fold card, Oh Happy Day. This is from Linda. And that one, when you display it, it will be open like that. And inside you can see the little turtle and the flowers there, like so. They're lovely. That's a five by seven size. And then there's this one, cute one. This is again by my sister's mother-in-law, Mandy, who I said was the card maker. Very cute little one. Love this die with the little door there and the little, it's like the ladybugs, ladybird's house. Very cute. And then I've got this one here, especially for you. So you've got your belly band 
And then this one is another of those, I think it was the Explosion Star card or something. Love it. Loved this paper pad. It was a Dovecraft paper pad and decoupage set. So sweet. That one is from Shelley. Thank you so much, Shelley. It's gorgeous. And again, it's been catching the light. You can see all the shine there. And that all folds down into the six by six card size. And then I've got this one here again, my favourite colours and the holographic card, which I just love. This is a recent tutorial that I shared. It's the gatefold, gatefold pop out panel or something, I think. This one. Love the butterflies. And then that yay is one of my older stamp sets there. And the butterflies are really sweet as well. Isn't that lovely? And she's used my grungy embossing folder there as well. Or one that's very similar. <laughs> I think that's the one anyway. And then that all folds down. Did I say who that was from? Oh, Rachel. That one's from Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Really, really sweet. This one here is from my boss. And I love this one. She got a cricket machine for Christmas. So she made this one for me. Dog Mama. I think it's so cute. Thank you, Carol. It's really, really nice. Love that one. And I've got this one here, which is from Benita. So she used my chunky dies there. The cheers. These are dies from the Have a Drink on Me set, I think it is. I love the embossing folder, which is my 8x8 large embossing folder. And it's the side panel die set, but she's used it this way. Whereas most of the time I've shared it that way. So it's quite nice to, you know, see it used in different orientations. And you can also fold it all back and have it like that as well. So it's nice to see it used in different ways. You could do it that way as well. But she's done it that way. Isn't that clever? Thank you so much. And then I've got this one here. This is from all my work colleagues. It's just a nice big 8x8. Well, I think it's 7x7, seven seven, that one. Happy birthday. And you've got the sunflower paper there. That's really sweet from all the girls. And then I've got this one, which is from Simone. Thank you so much, Simone. So this one pops out. I think Simone's shared this one on her channel. She's Blondes, blondes Cards and Crafts. And um, I'll link it below. A big birthday deserves a big card. Happy birthday, Sam. I love the little image there. I think that's love from Lizzie because I know she uses a lot of her stuff as well. And today is all about you. It's really nice when I receive cards using the stuff that I've designed. Um, yeah, because obviously I'm always making stuff and sending it out to people. But to have it then sent back to me is really nice. But I love that. I love the way you've done that card. Then got this wonderful one here, which is the Corner Easel. And you've got the underwater papers there. And then this one all opens up. And we've got Ollie the Octopus inside. <laughs> and then you've got your easel there like so you've got the treasure chest you've got the scuba diver there and this one is from julie thank you so much julie that really made me smile that one and then I've got a few more left so i've got this lovely one here this is from jeanette beautiful and it's got this book kind of spring detail on the side i'm sure i've done something like this i don't know if it was mine that you followed but I've, i'm sure i've got something similar that i can link up uh, there's that much on my channel now i do sometimes forget what i have made oh and what i haven't but this one was a surprise because i could feel it was quite weighted but inside she's put this Rita sport and i've been eager to get this video done because then i can eat it <laughs> so i'm going to try this later on when i have a cup of coffee crispy coffee and it's new because i've yeah i've not seen this one um, but it just shows, you know, what a nice way to, you know, just give a little bit of chocolate. You could pop a small gift in there, like a necklace or something. And you can, you know, make that deeper if you wanted to. I love that. That was really sweet. And then I've got these in gift box. Oh, that's the gift box that this one was in. You can see there how that all matches. And then the last one is from Gemma. I've got this gift box here. And this is beautiful. I loved making this cup for a second. I thought it was my one that I'd made, but then I realised I'd done mine. I think it was five by seven. It's gorgeous, Gemma. It's so lovely. And these are the pillar display cards, I think I called them. And she's used the grid embossing folder there. Lovely happy birthday sentiment and the beautiful flowers there. Just, yeah, really, really nice. Thank you so much, Gemma. It was lovely. So because we had quite a lot of severe postal strikes in the UK over Christmas time, I've been receiving birthday cards and Christmas cards into February and also at the beginning of March as well. So I did film a few more cards, but I seem to have lost that footage on my phone. I must have deleted it by mistake. So these are some more cards that I've received. So I'm going to also add these into this video. 
There are some lovely cards here for Monty because my puppy recently turned one. So some people sent some cards there as well. So no particular order. We'll start off with the Monty ones here. So I've got this beautiful Z fold card here. And when you pull the sides, the little sign there, woof, pops up. And you've got the sausage dog on the front there. This one is from Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. Really, really lovely of you to send that one. Then I've got this one here. So this is a pillar card. Happy first birthday, Monty. And there's a picture of a sausage dog on the front. And this one is by, it's from Lynette and Kelly. Really sweet card, that one. It was so lovely. I was like kind of opening a little bit of the envelope for him and then letting him kind of pull the rest of it out. It was really nice. And then I made him this one. I actually made this one during a Facebook Live, I think it was, or for the launch of the Creative Craft Products dogs and cats collection that they did so i done this little ferris wheel here for him he loved looking at this one so it kind of grabbed his attention which was good so i'll be putting all of these in a little box that i've started to put together for monty and all of his cards then my mum made this really fun origami fold card in the shape of a dog you are awesome she's popped monty on the side she's done a big envelope as well with his name on and then the number one i love the tongue there as well and then that one opens like a card so it can stand up like so you even got the googly eyes there then i've got this birthday card here this is from tina thank you tina happy birthday i love the tiger there and then this one it kind of stands like so there we go really unusual fold that one love all the pinks and everything and the embellishments that she's put on there as well it's really nice then i've got this one here this is a thank you card from carmen as well i think she's done some stenciling on this one and you've got some of the nouveau drops there as well it's really smooth very very smooth that one i've got another thank you card here this is the staggered staggered card that i made staggered said fold i can't remember <laughs> but something like that and then she's used the funky floral flowers my dies there, the chunky alphabet for the thank you. And I love that one as well. And you can see that one's displayed like so. So you can see all of that detail. And that one is from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. And I've got this very cute Christmas card here, which is a pillar card. That little festive scene there on the front. And this one's from Lynette. Thank you, Lynette. It's really sweet. And then I've got this card here. This is a birthday card. This is from Steve. Much love, and it's one of those floating, what again, what do they call this one? Layered, layered floating card. Can you see all of the different layers there? They're kind of like on little springs. I think it was called the spring card, maybe. It's a top fold. You can see it more there, how all the springs work. I've done them in a few different sizes now, I think. I love all the shine on this one. The firework paper is gorgeous, really, really nice. So those are all of the lovely cards that I've been sent between Christmas and now. I've also been sent so many lovely gifts as well. Um, I'm blown away with some of the things that people send to me. I keep them all. I eat them all. <laughs> and I display them and use them if I can as well in my craft space. And it just... Yeah, I'm always thankful for anything that anybody sends me and I get lots of inspiration from the cards that you send as well, all the colours and different folds and things like that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. It's always a joy to receive cards in the post and it's why we do what we do. We love to send cards and the things that we make to people. So I really appreciate it when they're sent to me. Thank you for watching. Like I said, all of the links to as much as I can share will be below this video. So hopefully you can go and, you know, find the tutorials making some of the cards that I've shared with you today. See you all again soon. Bye.